Hello everybody and here we are again, another windy day, another track. So we are at Blyton Park today, a uh, very, very impromptu track uh, event that I wasn't going to be going to. That Mark there in the clear, um, who uh, who wraps who wrapped the Type R actually, uh, Revolution Ride. Um, yeah, very very last minute organised uh, with a friend Luke, who you've seen in other videos, Black MX5. He's bailed because he didn't sleep very well because his neighbours had music playing all night. And I'm going to slate him and say that was a poor excuse. And he's missed that on his first track time. But yeah, we're here. Another Mark is here, who. Um, well, we actually reviewed his McGann trophy, RS trophy, back in the day, a long time ago that way, weren't it? A few years ago. About five years ago. Five years ago, yeah. <laughs> he's come in his uh, current McGann that he has now, and he's going to have a bash on track with me uh, in this afternoon. For now, just watching some of these cars go around here. Looks like not an intimidating track at all. It's the short version of the track as well today and it's all flat. The track is a little bit wet, but I'd only say damp and it hopefully, fingers crossed, it's only gonna get drier. Um, so it's gonna make it a bit better for us in the afternoon, such wood. Yeah, we'll see some of these go around and then we'll we'll get the car ready and prepped and, and we'll have a we'll have a crack out as well. Hopefully I've got the GoPro, I'll get it, I'll get it set up so you can come out with me and see what we can do. Okay, so we're filming ready to go. Me and both Marks, we're all out on track. So I hope you can hear me properly. I haven't got a mic to my helmet this time. There's a couple of Fiesta STs with some teenage boys in them. So let's see how that goes as well. But I'm gonna be going at my own pace. Track is wet. Never done track driving in the wet. So I won't be doing any competitions. Let's see how we can do. Um, we've got two 15 minute sessions and that's it. So I'm gonna let these Fiesta boys go first. They've got, oh my God. They've got motocross helmets on. Okay. Am I nervous? Yeah, a little bit. So let's see how we are um, going through this first chicane or so. Here we go. Oh, wheel spinning. this track so, feeling quite confident at the minute the cars are acting well in the rain now we'll mention in the driver's briefing that these fiesta boys were uh, asking each other asking other people what their power was um, and one had k20 in the number plate which stood for k20 killer um, so as you can imagine, we uh, we walked round, saw their cars before we went on track, and pretty much both the front tyres were near enough bald. So that's that's the main reason why we let them go first. I didn't fancy um, a 19-year-old smashing up my pride and joy in the wet. Uh, but yeah, let's see how it turns out. Stamp on the brakes too hard. Right. Let's teach these teenagers a few. Wait, 
kan you'll see that I'm starting to get a lot more confident with the car and getting confident with the conditions as well um, so we start to find the edge a little bit more of uh, control in terms of wet grip and um, how we can handle the car matching as much as I can quite nice to catch up to Mark because it was learning driving in a in a different sense of chasing a car that's quite similar in terms of performance around this track and I'd say quite similar driver um, performance um, so it was nice to not push too hard but be try and keep a good rhythm and, and, and a competitive pace whilst 
Marco, Marco also had me chasing him, so yeah, it was quite fun, especially in the conditions. That's that, we're back in. That were alright. Right then, away we go again. Put gloves on. Always the one that's wasting time. You ready? Are you going in front? So we're going into the second session now, a little bit more confident. It looks a lot uh, like a bit of a drier track, which you think would make things a little bit easier in terms of grip. But, well, you'll, you'll see soon enough. Second out this time, so we're probably going to have a little bit more grip as well. Oh, tyres need to warm up first though. Well, let's get some heat in them. Right now. 
16 third here. That's better. That was a bit scary. I thought I was going to spin out then, but I caught it. I need some heat. You can't treat the car like a go car. I'm going to think about the weight transfer and things like that. And that was just a bit too much. Now after that little moment that I did have, obviously that kind of situation's quite new to me and I don't go on tons of track days and lose control. Well, I didn't say lose control. I wouldn't say lose control, but lose grip with a car very often i don't um so it knocked me a little bit and what i should have done is carry on the rest of the lap as normal whereas i kind of drove lightly and put the revs down in high gear i think in my head i was just like i'm going to get a black flag flag for pushing too hard or something like that uh, which wasn't the case at all but yeah that's something that i'll def i'll learn for next time um just to not let it get in my head like that I did like half a lap 
um, just being really cautious, trying to show that I was being responsible. But I should have just learned and then got straight back on it. Because um, all I did was ended up like, putting a bit more fear in myself, which is never a good thing. But we're safe, we're fine. I handled it. The worst thing that could have happened is I'd have span out. But all I did was just counter steer the spin, save it, and carry on. So everything's fine. It was a slow left under. I weren't going at high speed. So yeah, it's fine. We got out there another time. Mark's been pulled in for a chat. I don't know why. Yeah, the car felt a lot more difficult um, than the first lap. Maybe there's more rain on the ground. I don't know. The first lap, the first stint we did. I don't know, maybe it was me. Maybe it was me just overgunning it. Oh. You're right. Well, I... Pardon? I don't know if it were partly because... There wasn't a big massive public braking zone on the yeah. back straight, which helps. I got to, I chased you out of this first corner, and we'd only been a couple of laps in, and I saved a spin at full lock on the steering wheel. You, I saw you get back end out of it. It were all the way around right. corner. And then I did half a lap just coasting, because I just thought, oh, do I just show that I'm responsible? <laughs> and the then, is, I shouldn't have done that. The I thing shouldn't. is, what feels massive in car, probably don't even see it. No, it's exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have uh, just carried on as normal, but then I put a bit of fear in myself for no reason. But, um, yeah. no, we're good though. There's definitely some spell. Because I, I go around it like normal, and I'm just like, ah! Yeah, <laughs> same. Same. I was just saying on GoPro, that felt more slippy yeah. than when it were chucking it down earlier. Yeah, yeah. I, I lift off oversteered <laughs> into that first chicane every single lap. I'm sorry guys, I didn't properly um, end this video on camera, so I'm just doing that now. So yeah, just let me know what you think about this one guys. I, It, it was definitely the most I've probably learned on track in terms of a track session. Learning to control the car in a different situation, growing confidence in that, learning things with uh, different levels of wetness and wetness, different levels of rain. Um, and heating tyres etc and the rears on mine at the minute um, are the uh, Goodyear Eagle F1 isometric threes which I've had for about like five years now I'd say and they're ready to let like, go I feel like they're not low on tread but they're just old tyres and they've been through a few track sessions now um, whereas the fronts are the Eagle F1 Super Sports which don't have as much I'd say all weather grip but in terms of like a hard sidewall performance driving they are all round better um, and I could feel the, the better grip in the front so yeah things to learn uh, things to change a lot to take away from it do you think I did well do you think I did horrendous do you think it was something that you might consider doing yourself I highly recommend it if you if you feel uh, like this is this something you want to do more with your car doing a smaller track session day um, especially if you go into like a smaller car show or if you're doing it in the morning at a car show I always recommend to get on the first session because people can't be bothered people who can't be bothered to do the first session normally can't be bothered to drive with care or prep their car they're just doing it as an afterthought and going on track because the mates have done it that's my that's my approach to it anyway so that's how you get a cleaner a cleaner session but yeah thank you all for watching this one we will see you in another video soon hopefully i know there are quite a big distance between them now nowadays uh but as you can imagine life doesn't get in the way but it's um it's all consuming and um it takes a lot more effort for me to either find time or put effort in to do this now so i do appreciate your patience with that um, and i don't want to totally let go of the channel at all i do want to keep it up uh, in some form but yeah, please like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video, guys, or if you enjoy any of my videos at all. And click the little bell button to remind you when a fresh video does come on. And until next time, guys, like I always say, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.